Hello friends, my name is Z and you're watching Z Mr. Easy. And welcome to a new video for Design Technology Timbers for the core content. And today we have 1.11 which is textiles. And by the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe 1.1, sorry, 1.11.1 natural textiles, 1.11.2 synthetic uh, textiles, 1.11.3 woven textiles, 1.11.4 non-woven textiles. 1.11.5 knitted net textiles and 1.11.6 which is the properties which include these things over here. So check out the pink comment for all the timestamps. And we'll move on with our first one, the natural fibers. Natural fibers uh, from plant sources include cotton and all this stuff over here like coconut. And fibers from animal sources include silk, wool and this right here. And fibers are thread-like elements that can be formed into yarns and fabrics. So the first one we're looking to animal the wool, and for the properties and characteristics or structure, it's from an animal's fleece and it's made of protein molecules, and it produces a short fiber or staple with a crimp or kink, which, with the scales of on the fiber, traps air, creating warmth. And wool may be soft or coarse depending on the sheep's breed. Example could be coats, jumpers, suits, blankets, or carpets. Advantage could be wool is warm and absorbent, and it's breathable, it's durable, it repels rain, it repels rain, it hangs well, and it increases dropout. But disadvantage could be that wool dries slowly and is susceptible to moth attack, and all this disadvantage over here. Then we have a vegetable or plant cotton. The bowls, which is the fruit cottons, uh, cotton plants are fruit, are machine harvested. And saw teeth remove waste from the seed po uh, pot. The resulting fiber is called lint. And cellulose makes the fiber strong, durable, and absorbent. And 20 to 30 layers of cellulose are coiled in natural springs. And cotton fibers form interlocking flat, twisted ribbon-like shapes when dried, and it's ideal for spinning. Example could be towels, denim, socks, underwear, t-shirts, and beddings. Advantage could be that cotton is cool, absorbent, soft, and all these, it's, there's a lot of advantage. Like let's say, um, can be ironed at higher temperature and good color retention. But disadvantage should be that it creases easily, it burns, like flammable, shrinks, and it dries slowly, just like the one just now. Then we have 1.11.2 synthetic fibers. And synthetic or artificial fibers are usually made of coal, oil, and other petroleum based chemicals. Examples could be polyester, acrylic, and nylon, and this right here. And the staple is the length of a fiber. And here's polyester and acrylic. So for polyester, the properties or characteristics or structure include its simple chemical, uh, simple chemical molecules or the monomers are joined together to form polymers by polymerization, and the polymer chains are spun into a yarn. Example could be raincoats, fleece jacket, children's nightwear, and all these stuff. An advantage should be it's strong when the wet or dry, and it dries quickly, and it's resistant to abrasion, soft, it hangs well, and durable, and all this stuff over here. Acrylic, it's formed by polymerization of at least 85% of um, these materials right here, and this uh, compound. And the double bond between the first two carbon atoms is broken and the molecules join a chain, which is the process of polymerization. Example could be, like, let's say, sportswear or blankets or fleece jackets. Advantage of acrylic is that it, it's warm, it dries quickly, it's durable, and it's crease resistant. Then we have woven fibers. And weaving turns yarns into a piece of fabric on a loom, which has an arrangement of a warp, or vertical thread held under tension. The edges where the weft or the horizontal threads loop back from a form a non-fraying edge, which is called this right here, a specific key term. So here we have a plain weave, calico. The properties of these stuff right here include into simple cotton cloth, the warp and the weft pass out, uh, over and under each, each other, forming a crisscross pattern. The calico is naturally uh, sorry, gray, is that, sorry it's a typo here, and it may be soft or coarse. Example could be shirts, bags, beddings, textiles, and crafts. Advantage is that it's strong, hard wearing, and hangs well and seam both sides, and cheap to make and all these advantage. But disadvantage should be it's firm and it's uh, very quality. 
Then we have two with denim. Uh, the properties will include the wealth of young girls over two or more warp threats repeated on the row but steps o uh, like steps over one another like one warp thread onto the next row to make a diagonal pattern and denim is blue in the warp while white in the weft and example could be jeans, jackets and curtains advantage is that um, denim is hard wearing, is strong and it hangs well but disadvantage should be that denim frays and the thickness makes it hard to be used in any application Then we have 1.11.4 non-woven fibers And fibers are laid at different angles to form a web joined by either felting or bonding And the bonding joins the fiber with, with heat or solvent So it's, it is cheap to produce but not as strong as woven or knitted fibers So like here we have felted wood fabric Properties will include its scaly fibers of wool or hair becomes tangled as they are rubbed together when they are wet And heat and pressure are applied to join them Example could be pool table surfaces, hats, bags, coats, and slippers. Advantage could be it resists, uh, it resists chemical and fire, and does not unra uh, unravel or fray. Disadvantage could be it's expensive, and it's not stretchy and it deforms when it's wet. Bonded fibers or bonded webs is that it's, uh, the properties will include it does not fray and it's weaker when it's wet, and can be produced in a range of weights. Example could be fusible interfacing, wet wipes, or disposable overalls. Advantage should be it does not fray, as I mentioned here just now, and it's cheap to produce. And disadvantage should be it's not very strong, and sometimes it's weaker when it's wet. Then we have 1.11.5 synthetic fibers. And knitted textiles are constructed from interlocking loops of yarn and, other, uh, and are either warp or weft. And here's a warp knitted fabric. It forms a vertical loop like warp, like a series of chain, and can only be produced on a machine. Example could be swimwear, geotextiles, lace, net, and fleece. Advantage could be it's fairly stretchy, and it retains heat and it does not uh, unravel. And disadvantage should be it can lose shape and curls at the edges. Then the other one would be weft knitted fabric, which is uh, going horizontally. A single yarn creates interlocking loops across the fabric, and if a loop breaks, a hole forms and ladders, and made by, it can be made by machine or by hand. For example, t-shirt, jumpers, tops, and socks. Advantage is that it's relatively comfortable and stretchy, and it has a fast production, but it ladders easily. Then lastly, we have 1.11.6, the properties of fibers. We have three right here. Elasticity is the amount of stretch and is tested by gradually increasing the force on the fibers until a breaking point. And at lower loads, the, fab the fibers operate Hooke's law and stretchy is, pro is proportional to the load and the fibers will return to its original size, which is the elasti like, elasticity uh, property. And clothes made from fibers that recover will, will maintain the shape and uh, not keep creases. And resilience is the resistance to being deformed or compressed. And fibers should spring back vigorously when the pressure has been applied. And loft or compressional resilience is the ability to return to original thickness after being compressed or squashed or to resist creasing. And lastly, durability is the ability to resist wear. And this depends on the choice of the fabric, or oh sorry, fibers or fabric, and the user's activities and the size. So that's it for this 1.11 video for textiles and I hope you guys have enjoyed this and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions or criticisms and if you found it helpful, please check out my Instagram in the description for more daily content and I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next video Until then, stay safe and happy learning